is another big day for us because we have a new vehicle coming and we are going to be using this specifically for ice fishing and sometimes trail riding. Hey guys, so behind me, we finally received our 2021 950 SX Huntmaster. And our purpose for buying this vehicle is because we wanted to use it on the ice. It's an amphibious vehicle, so we can go on water and land. It makes it a lot safer, especially if we ever break through the ice when we're, when we're ice fishing. So that way, if it does break through the ice, we'll float rather than sink in. And another thing we liked about this vehicle is that it fits about six people on land and four people on water. But we're a little disappointed because while we were driving it on the road, we noticed that it had a lot of bounce to it. So my husband was pretty much bouncing off his seat. Um, but it was a lot more bounce than what we were typically used to, especially when we're riding our off-road vehicles. Um, so our friend suggested, who also has an Argo, suggested that we pump up the tires. So the two um, front tires is five and the two middle tires would be seven PSI. So we're gonna try that out and hopefully that works and that would be the only issue. We did have a smell, a burning smell. We don't know what that is, so we did contact the dealer, um, our our guy Joe, to see uh, what's happening with his vehicle. So if you look, it's a really good looking vehicle. It's powerful and that's what we wanted. It has a worn winch. It pretty much can tow about 4,500 pounds, which is good. This is uh, was a previous owned vehicle and it looks like the skews it was mainly used for ice um the one concern that we also have as well is if you look down here the previous owner had his original plates here but he bore holes in the base of the vehicle so if it were to ever fall in water or go in water water's gonna go inside we're um a little kind of bummed that uh Argo that we bought, even though it's not brand new, doesn't seem to be uh, driving properly. We were planning to go on a day trip with some of our friends on Sunday, who just also bought an Argo. So we are hoping that we are able to ride this. Hopefully, pumping these tires are going to help. because I thought I had pushed record on the button because I my husband asked me if we should go through this rut and I said hell yeah let's go so we end up going in we end up getting the Argo stuck and the left side of the wheels didn't even touch the ground it was sunken in on the right side but we had no uh, traction so what we did was we used our 4,500 pound winch tied it upon this really thin white tree that you see behind me and we were able to pull out the Argo 
So we are so amazed with this thing. Oh my gosh, love it. So I'll show you the picture of how the rut looked like. And here it is. There was so much mud and the tires was able to manage around this. It was awesome. I thought maybe we would have had to call our friends Anna and Horatio to come rescue us with our Argo because from our understanding that sometimes wherever we're at, especially where the Argo can go, other off-road vehicles can't go there. So we thought that maybe another Argo would have to come rescue us. But thankfully we were able to rescue ourselves. I'm so upset that we didn't get the footage for you. Next time, this is not the only adventure we're gonna have. We are going to show you more adventures and more adventures where we get stuck. Okay guys, so we are inside the Argo, but we are now floating.